it's Rita Gomery and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again guys with another unboxing and review video. And alam kong matagal nyo na miss itong brand na to. And actually, ito yung first ever smartphone na i-unbox ko na galing sa kanila this 2020. Pero bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating unboxing and review, gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa inyo na sana mag-ingat tayong lahat because of what's happening right now sa ating bansa laban sa COVID-19. Hindi ko maalas sa isip ko at nag-aalala talaga ako ng lubos sa family ko, sa friends ko, and even to people in general. I just really hope na malagpasan natin to at ma-figure out natin kung paano tayo makakabangon. Anyway, going back sa ating subject, we will be unboxing the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Yes, alam pong na-miss natin ang Oppo sa channel ko. Pero tignan nyo naman yung pagbabalik nila, yung pasabog nila. Like, boom! Flagship agad-agad. So, itong Oppo Find X2 Pro, sa mga hindi na kaalam, ito yung flagship entry ng Oppo for this year, 2020. So, kung ang Samsung may S20 Ultra, ang iPhone may iPhone 11 Pro Max, ang Huawei may T40 Pro, ito naman ang pasabog ng Oppo. Maganda actually yung pagkakapresent sa kanya. It's something new na hindi natin nakakita sa ibang brands. Parang may pagka-shuttered glass siya doon sa pinaka-pangalan. And it's actually shiny and parang umaangat talaga yung pangalan na Oppo Find X2 Pro. And then on the top right corner, kung mapapansin nyo, it has 12GB of RAM with 512GB of internal storage. One thing I really like about the Oppo Find X2 Pro, sasabihin ko na agad bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating unboxing, it's very straight to the point. Wala masyadong gimmick. Parang ito talaga yung flagship na hinahanap natin lahat. But of course, may mga cons to. But still, I think this device is the biggest competitor S20 Ultra has so far. Siyempre, nagbayad ka ng mahal. Gusto mo dapat maganda rin yung packaging or yung box. And Oppo did it right. So, pag-open natin yung box, guys, wala na siya dun sa loob. Pero, meron tayong box pa dito sa ibabaw and meron pa rin siyang textured finish. And meron lang siyang Oppo na logo dito na gold. And inside, guys, meron tayong the paperworks. The SIM ejector tool or yung ating panundot and napakaganda ng quality pang flagship talaga yung panundot natin. And meron din tayong free jelly case. And the phone itself guys, naka-plastic pa siya pero mamaya na natin to pansinin. Tignan muna natin yung iba pang laman ng box. Meron tayong 65 watt charging brick and I, and I know what you guys are thinking, medyo may pagka-bulky talaga yung power brick natin and hindi ako fan ng mga ganito kasi nga mabigat sila. So yung mga ganitong power brick guys, hindi sila yung mga pang office or pang school para dalhin. Feeling ko pang bahay lang talaga sila. And meron din tayo guys, napakagandang wired earphones and meron siyang touch of green and as you can see dito sa likod, it's a USB Type-C so wala tayong headphone jack kay Oppo Find X2 Pro. In fairness, may mga kasama rin tayong extra silicon tips para doon sa wired earphones. Lastly guys, meron tayong USB Type-C charging cable. Ito na guys, yung Oppo Find X2 Pro. Excited ako dito dahil napakaganda ng kulay na to. And alam ko, nakita niya to sa mga international YouTubers. And sabi ko, sana mabigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na ma-review yung ganitong kulay. And nabigyan nga tayo ng pagkakataon. Yes! Ito yung orange vegan leather lang naman guys. I feel like not using a jelly case for this specific finish. Kasi guys, tingin nyo naman, like, oh my god, kahit na solid color orange lang siya, wala akong pake, maganda siya para sa akin. And alam kong yung iba dito na-appreciate din. And meron din siyang black ceramic. I know you guys also saw this. Maganda rin naman yung black ceramic. Medyo... May pagka-fingerprint magnet lang siya. So, dito tayo sa orange vegan leather. So, sa kanan guys, meron tayong lock button na merong green accent. Again, ganito naman pag Oppo. On the left, we have volume rockers. Sa ibabaw guys, meron tayong secondary microphone. And sa ilalim, meron tayong SIM card tray, microphone, USB Type-C port, and speaker grill. And also, isa pang additional na nagustuhan ko dito sa design niya, may gold accent siya. Yung Oppo na logo sa pinaka-lower left niya, gold din siya. And even yung frame niya and yung camera bump housing is also gold. So for me guys, physical appearance pa lang, talagang alam mong flagship device yung hinahawakan mo. And in terms of feel, mabigat pa siya? No? Pero guys, ito kahit na wala siyang headphone jack, at least... IP68 water and dust resistance naman siya. Sa display, meron tayong 6.7 inches Quad HD Plus OLED display with 
120 Hz screen refresh rate. Actually guys, una ko agad napansin sa display niya, medyo mas curved siya, mas extreme yung pagka-curve niya compared sa S20 Ultra. So very comparable siya guys sa mga S series from the past years. Sa Ultra guys, hindi natin pwedeng pagsabayan ang 120Hz screen refresh rate kasabay ng Quad HD+. But sa Oppo Find X2 Pro, it's possible pwede natin pagsabayan ang 120Hz screen refresh rate. Akala natin lahat nung una kapag Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, eh hindi natin siya pwedeng pagsabayan probably because of how the battery or how the smartphone will react to it. But Oppo made it possible guys, kaya parang ano nyo yun, with this kind of feature, parang sinampal niya bigla ang S20 Ultra. Also guys, disclaimer, if I kept on comparing this device to the S20 Ultra, this is not sponsored by Oppo or even by Samsung, pero for reference lang para may idea kayo. Pero guys, ito depende na lang to sa placement siguro ng punch hole. Kung gusto nyo ng punch hole na nasa gitna, na alam nyo yun, sanay kayo na may notch or may punch hole nga na nasa gitna, then S20 Ultra is the one for you. Pero kung ayaw nyo naman ng punch hole na medyo, alam nyo yun, intruding at sa gabal, then, then go for the Oppo Find X2 Pro. But disclaimer lang guys, kung kunwari may Oppo Find X2 Pro ka, I would suggest mamili ka between the 120Hz screen refresh rate or the Quad HD+. Bakit? Pag nasa labas ka, expect your battery na madrain than your usual or your normal day-to-day usage. Dahil legit, it will consume your battery. Pero if, you know, nasa bahay ka lang naman at you want to experience having both, wala naman sigurong masama. Depende talaga to sa inyo. And kung itatabi natin siya guys kay Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, actually guys, medyo mas brighter ng konti itong device na to. Oppo Find X2 Pro, tatlo guys yung camera niya. Alam kong medyo mahaba yung ating camera house, pero tatlo lang talaga guys yung camera natin. We have 48 megapixels main camera, 48 megapixels ultra wide, and lastly yung third natin is 13 megapixels telephoto lens. And actually guys, ito rin yung same lens as the zoom module of the Oppo Reno 10x zoom. So, it also supports 5x optical, 10x hybrid, and 60x digital zoom. And for the front camera naman guys, it has 32 megapixels. Actually guys, I have yet to fully explore yung camera nitong Oppo Find X2 Pro, pero ipapakita ko pa rin yung mga sample photos at videos na nakunan ko gamit ito at also yung mga na-discover ko sa mga modes niya. Siyempre, unang-una may night mode itong Oppo Find X2 Pro pero ang kinagusto ko, you can also use the night mode in terms of taking selfies or selfie portraits. So kahit madilim, pwedeng pwede tayong mag-selfie with a better quality. And in terms of video recording naman guys, pwede kang mag-switch between wide, ultra-wide. You can zoom it up to 2 times, 5 times. And for video, hanggang 4K at 60 frames per second ang kaya nito. Actually, I like it kasi it's very consistent. So 4K at 60 frames per second is just enough. Although sa iba, they might find this lacking kasi nga ang ultra naka 8K. Can you show them my broken lens? It's not broken, you need filter and broken too. But it's almost broken. It almost broke, but it didn't use protection kits. <laughs> Impressed by the camera of this device. 
Pero, mas drawn at mas, alam nyo, na-impress talaga ako sa Ultra. In terms of battery life, itong device na to, meron siyang 4,260 mAh battery capacity. And I know naman guys, ng main reason dyan kung bakit talaga mag-drain yung phone nyo, eh because of the display. But at least guys, bawi naman tayo ng konti in terms of charging. Actually, hindi nga konti. 65 watt book flash charge. Which, sa test namin ng Jason guys, from 0 to 100%, it only took us 37 minutes. Ganon kabilis mag-fully charge itong device na to. Next, it has the top-end Snapdragon 865 chipset with 12GB of RAM and again, 512GB of internal storage. Of course, flagship phone, flagship chipset. It obviously makes sense. Next, ang Oppo Find X2 Pro. It runs the latest Android 10 with the latest color OS 7. Honestly guys, ang dami ng bago sa color OS 7, ang dami mo ng pagpipilian. Ay gusto kong sinasabi sa mga Oppo reviews ko, hindi ako fan ng color OS 6. And right now guys, parang biglang nagbago yung isip ko, nagbago yung tibok ng puso ko. Dahil ang color OS 7, there's a lot of customization going on. Also guys, meron din tayong tinatawag na multi-user mode that I think first time kong nakita. And meron din siyang shortcut na makikita nyo sa upper right corner na usually nakikita natin sa mga Samsung devices. And actually right now, makikita na rin natin siya sa Realme UI. It's like a smart sidebar guys and customizable din naman siya. What I also like guys is pwede rin kayo mag-pin or mag-lock ng mga applications nyo. So, so pupunta lang kayo sa recent apps. So ibig sabihin ko nuwari nakalock na yung specific app na yon. hindi siya mag-reload kahit anong gawin nyo unless i-unlock nyo. Basta pagkabukas nyo kung paano nyo siya iniwan, it will stay the same. Kahit gaano mo pa siya katagal huling binuksan. And actually, as expected, mabilis yung in-display fingerprint sensor niya and even the face unlock. What I like about the fingerprint sensor, napakadami mong choices na pagpipilian in terms of the effects na gusto mong lumabas every time na ilalagay mo yung thumb mo sa kanya. Actually guys, in terms of camera, okay naman yung ating triple camera setup sa likod. Medyo hindi lang ako ganun ka-impressed in terms of the front camera. But overall guys, I am impressed sa binigay or in-offer sa atin ng Oppo Find X2 Pro this 2020. So kung may budget talaga kayo for a flagship device at hanggang ngayon hindi ka pa rin makapag-decide on what to buy, Oppo Find X2 Pro is a great device to consider. Again guys, it's your Tangle Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys!